today I'm going to be showing you this Lego scale that I made. So um, if you watch this red thing right there, um, it's, well right here, um, it'll move um, like the scale does. I pressed on this, so you can see, I don't know if you can see that too well, but it works like that. I'll show you closer up in a second. But um, if you guys, uh, I'll show you how it works and stuff if you want to build your own. And um, also, if that if you guys want to see a tutorial on it enough, if you want to see a tutorial on it, um, I might make a tutorial on it. So make sure to uh, comment that down below if you want to see a tutorial on it. But um, so let's take a closer look at this. Okay, so this is what it looks like closer up. So this is the front right here where the scale goes down and that goes up. Better view of it if you didn't see it earlier. Just like that. Um, and this is a pretty hard scale too, so you need something pretty heavy on top of this to make this move. I'll show you a lighter one here in a second, but um, uh, this is this just goes around like this. And um, if you can tell, this has this little plate gear right there. It's white, so it's kind of blending in with everything. But when you press that down, it rotates that gear, which rotates these gears right here, which rotates another one of those plate gear things which pushes these springs back, and the springs will push it for back forward. That's kind of how it works, and uh, these gears will spin the actual like scale part right here. So, you can look, I'm gonna, so, you can watch it there. It just goes like that. That's how it works. Now I'll show you like something on it. So this is one of my boxes filled with like random Lego pieces. So, if I place that on, oh, kind of hard to balance on there. Okay, if I place it on, then you can see like the red scale part down there went uh, like halfway-ish, I'm thinking. Um, and then if you press down, that's like the full pushing down on it. So, yeah, that's like the max that it can take is that much to there. So this is about half of it, this box right here. Um, and this is like, it can't measure super light pieces like this motor, for example. It can't measure it um, because it's a heavy scale. Let me show you a scale that can measure like lighter things. This is the this the smaller scale that can measure lighter things. So um, if I it, if I put this motor on top, my power functions motor, um, it goes up a little bit like that. But this one uses rubber band, and the other one that's, that does stronger stuff uses uh, springs. Um, and the one that I made it seems to be better than the one that was in the Lego book because this one just gets stuck a lot. I don't know if it's something like on my part, but I think I made it how it's supposed to be made. Um, but this one just tends to get stuck a lot more, but it can measure way lighter things. But the only bad part about this is that if you put a minifigure on it, it can't even weigh that. So it's still pretty heavy scale. But this other uh, big one is like a really heavy scale. So it's pretty heavy. And if you look at this, um, this is the pieces that this one uses. The springs. It uses two of them for more strength. And if I take off the top of this real quick and show you the inside right there you can kind of see it if it'll focus um, inside there is a white rubber band that gives it uh, the strings that it pulls the rubber band so you can kind of see in there and that's how this like smaller one works it's just use a rubber band and two two gears in there too just two sm uh, small gear and then the bigger version of that gear so that's how, what this this small scale is like. You can also make the ultra scale, which is just putting the small one on top of the big scale, which makes it so um, if something's too heavy for this one, it presses down on this this top one, and if it's and then it will be heavy enough to press down on the next one. So I don't know. It's just something funny. And um, this is an eight by eight plate on top, and this is an eight by eight plate, so it just like matches up. It's, pr it's pretty funny, but um, yeah, this is like the precise scale, except. Some of them might not even weigh them down at all. <laughs> Make this work with 2x4 bricks just to bring it up a little bit um, on this scale. And it's like 10 2x4 bricks about and it'll move it up a little bit like that. Uh, 10 is might seem like a lot but um, Lego bricks are really light if you think about it. Like this is really light. Just 10 in like a cube. It's really light. Um, but yeah this is that's about how much 2x4 bricks it can take. And this one, the strong one. This one would probably take a lot of 2x4 bricks to weigh it down because um, it's a strong scale. I'm thinking like 40, maybe that is a lot. Well, maybe 40, I don't know. It's a, it's, a, it's a heavy scale. But this one is used for a lot. It's so, that's how many it might take to weigh down this one. But I'm not gonna test because that is a lot of pieces. But um, yeah, that's like about how much that small scale back there can take. This is what a, this small scale looks like with the top taken off, so. 
um, this just presses down like that, so it makes it a little easier to see how it works. And um, the the rubber band is just connected to one of those bricks that has that little bar poking out the side. That's how it connects to that. So then when this goes down, the scale moves up with those gears. That's kind of how it works, but it gets stuck a lot. I don't know exactly why, but it gets stuck. Um, but yeah, that's what this one looks like with the entire top taken off of it. To see this one a little bit closer up and see all the stuff in it, I'll just show you a little bit more of it. There's just um, all the stuff. Remember, um, this comes down and it twists all those gears and pushes this in. So then if I pull this in, it'll kind of show how it works. Um, that's kind of how it works. You might be able to see it from this angle. This angle might be a little bit better. See how it works. It's really simple and it uses a few jumper plates just to hold in some parts of it just like this but yeah this is a little bit closer up of this build and this is what the top of the scale looks like too there's, there's white tiles right there and this belt's actually sideways in here it fits perfectly in there with it the, uh, these four no uh, like I think it's five plates stacked up on top of each other or no uh, Wait, it's five plates, yeah. Five plates stacked on top of each other equals a two by two um, area of bricks. So that's why that fits in there good. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And yeah, it's a bigger scale, a little bit closer up. Hey guys, so those are some Lego scales that I made. Um, and uh, this one's actually pretty big too. It's on like a 16 by 16 plate. And this one's only on eight by eight plates. This one's like four times smaller than the big one. Uh, but uh, that's just the size of them. But as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell.